everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 19th, 2016, and we have some incredible evidence for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover our butts. But this is our theory, and this is also the theory of some other Nibiru researchers. We've been working on this now for three months, and we never actually released this information until now until we obtained an accidental photograph by one of our Nibiru watchers and she did an incredible job and she does not know what she has just uncovered. Opinions have been formed by others stating that people in the Planet X community should collaborate together and form their opinions putting evidence together and that is what we have done and it's mind-blowing and the technology is old. Now I want everybody to pay very close attention and have a very open mind. We've all seen a lighthouse, whether it be in pictures, in a video, or wherever. The lenses in a lighthouse are called a Frenzel lens. F-R-E-N-S-E-L. Frenzel. This technology of lenses is very old. It is used in a lighthouse and other applications. And we've been wondering, everybody has been wondering, why does the sun look like it does? We finally figured it out. And the technology is very old. But whoever is responsible for placing this into outer space to fool us and cloak the objects that are in space, they did a pretty good job. We also think that the International Space Station is controlling this object. It has been photographed from the International Space Station. And what you're seeing across your screen now is a very large Frenzel lens. This lens can be divided up like a pizza and then put back together in space very easily. Remember... There's no gravity in space. So if the objects are actually very heavy, well, they'll be able to maneuver them in space and put them back together. This Frenzel lens has the ability to produce a rainbow prism type effect that we've all seen coming from the sun, illuminating in the clouds. Now the answers to our questions are now coming in. Other questions are, is there something wrong with our sun? Or was this object placed into space to cloak the planetary objects that are incoming so the public would not panic? But they didn't count on all of these Nibiru researchers getting everything correct, investigating. Take a look at the sun in the photograph. Why do you think we're seeing all of these anomalies with the sun? Why hasn't anyone seen these anomalies for the last 5 or 10 or 20 years? Why? Because they placed a device in outer space to fool us. Look at the Frenzel lens on your screen and then look at the photograph that our Nibiru watcher took and what does it look like? She aimed her camera at the sun using a special technique. And when she took this photograph and developed it on regular film, this is what she saw. And she said, I took this photograph of the sun, but I'm confused. I don't know what this is. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is a Frenzel lens. The gig is up. We know that we're being deceived. There is no doubt. Why would they do something like this? And then you're going to have the debunkers. They're going to come out and say, Oh, Scott, this is not possible. You cannot do this. Scientifically, astronomically, you cannot illuminate the earth, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? A Frenzel lens 
can produce a vast and wide beam of light that triangulates just like a lighthouse. And like I said, the technology is old. And whoever developed this used old technology and combined it with new technology. And they did it to fool us. So we are well prepared for the debunkers to say, Oh, Scott, you are just trying to fool the public. You are lying to the world. Well, we're not lying, buddy boy. You're lying to the world. We are trying to uncover the truth. We are trying to find out why there is a simulated sun device in space and why it is illuminating the earth. And we will dig deeper. We are unstoppable. We are Nibiru Planet X 2016. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.